The following is a presentation of TFNN. Live at TFNN, the Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648, internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. Oh, and I welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your humble, lovable, squeezably soft host in a new year. And, uh, boy, I was hoping to have a nice and uh, long vacation. And uh, like uh, in The Godfather, just when I think I get out, they pull me back in. And that's what they did. We had to go putting on positions last week. Uh, I started seeing the uh, news come out from uh, Greece. And I think a lot of people are uh, basically kind of trying to avoid the whole Greece thing and saying it's a bigger issue with Europe, but I have a feeling it's, uh, it is the problem with Europe, and uh, we're going to investigate that just a little bit today. Of course, uh, we've got a market that is off uh, rather hard, uh, and uh, let's see, I had uh, volume earlier, 2.33 billion shares, so some decent volume starting the, the day, not extensive, but still good. Uh, 2022.50 is the last tick on the S&P cash, uh, about uh, two points up off the absolute low of day so far. And it's uh, it's uh, ugly out there. Uh, what else can you say? We've had a bunch of days down. I was hoping last week for, you know, one of these markets where it was just five, ten points down, five, ten points down, five, ten points down, thought that we'd have a long first leg down. It looks to me like, uh, you know, these bigger moves uh, starting to come out means that maybe the downside, at least the first downside, is going to be a little bit more limited than I thought. Uh, but uh, like I said, we'll investigate that a little bit further. But, uh, you know, eh, what can you say? You know, the... Uh, with the Dow off, uh, what, 307 points on the last tick. It's uh, it's good. Now, the question is whether or not we have a 500-point uh, down day today, which would give me a, a better indication that uh, uh, of what's really going on. I suspect that there is a better than average chance that we go to 2,000 today. The way that this market is set up, uh, normally, when you blow through all these uh, stops, as many as we've done today, and not had a decent uh, try for a rally, you go right through um, all of them. And down 35 points, you have better than an average chance of taking it down to 2,000. So uh, get ready. Put your seat belts on. It's going to be an exciting uh, last, I think, last 30, 40 minutes of the day. But... Uh, uh, nothing new here. We've got a lot of stuff going on, so I'm going to try to fit uh, two or three shows in a one-show bag today, as I uh, haven't been on for a couple of weeks, so we'll try to get back in there. Um, da -da -da, what else do we have going on? Oh, on this day in 1999, Amazon announced its fourth quarter sales, uh, totaling uh, just 250 million shares, up more than 200% from the same quarter a year earlier, but uh, the company was... Gushing red ink. Uh, stock surged uh, $6.18 to 124 bucks on an immense volume of 31.4 million shares and uh, was the most active stock on the NASDAQ today in 1999. And uh, yeah, we were about a one year away from the bubble starting to burst. I think we've got uh, the bubble starting to burst a little bit earlier this cycle. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about it. And uh, I've got a new theme. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. That's going to be my new history theme song. But it is uh, uh, sure, Shirley Basie. Eh, pretty good. But uh, history it does repeat. And it doesn't repeat uh, as often as anywhere else. How can I say that? I think I said a, a double negative there. It does not 
repeat itself as much as it does anywhere else is in finance. So uh, actually having a good uh, a, a good grasp of history is incredibly important. Um, I'm reading a book. In fact, I'll go snag it during the break uh, and show it to you. But it's all about the 1901, uh, basically the beginning of uh, a lot of what would happen later in the markets for regulation. But uh, it was a giant food fight between the richest men in America over the last little piece of railroad that would hook all the other railroads together. It kind of almost reminds me of all the, uh, the huge money being thrown around in the biotechs. Everybody doesn't want to be an uh, odd man out and uh, being uh, left standing when that music stops for the game of musical chairs. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot. But uh, I'll get that book. It's a fantastic book uh, about everything broken up, but, but uh, also the history of the market. And uh, the, one of the funniest things uh, out here is a uh, song that I ran across uh, during uh, my uh, travels uh, on my vacation. And we'll get to that in just one second. But, uh, of course, uh, ugly day today. I just wanted to highlight the uh, European markets. Uh, UK was off 2%. Germany, which is, of course, the big dog over there, 3% uh, down. France, 3.3%. Spain, 3.5%. Portugal, 3.1%. Italy, 49 And the Irish off one3 uh, Irish probably got a lot of their problems out way in advance of everybody else. Of course, uh, Greece, in the Greece... Uh, down 5.6 percent. Um, I am doing a lot of work on uh, history, and uh, I ran across this, and this is one of the most popular songs. In fact, if not the most popular requested song on radio in New York uh, in uh, January of 1929. So uh, hang on to this. Just it's kind of funny. <laughs> I'll have to see my broker, find out what he can do, but I'm in the market for you. There won't be any joker, with margin I'm all through, but I want you outright, it's true. You're going up, up, up in my estimation, I want a thousand shares of your caress is true. We'll count the hugs and kisses when dividends are due, but I'm in the market for you. <laughs> anyway, uh, can you think of a more horrible song and uh, get an idea just how bad the 1929 high was when there were the popular songs were about the stock market and uh, how uh, some guy was uh, figuring he was going to woo his girlfriend with some kind of stock talk. But uh, eh, it's interesting <laughs> to say the least, but uh, eh. What can you say? Anyway, I'm doing a lot of work on history. One of the reasons that I'm uh, probably as bearish as I uh, can be and uh, had to uh, uh, cut curtail my vacation days off when we started seeing those, uh, I think it was Wednesday morning or Tuesday morning, um, started seeing all the articles coming out about Greece. Uh, before we get to that, um, one of the other things that I saw uh, was a report out of Bloomberg. They've got a thing called the Smart uh, Money Flow Index, and they wrapped it up for the year, and I happened to catch it. But basically what this thing does is look at the end of the trading day. The old story is that the open belongs to the rubes, and the market uh, close belongs to the pros in the market. So you want to see how the end of the day actually wraps up because that will tell you a great deal more uh, than what uh, the open tells you. Uh, a lot of people like to plunge in early in the day and those are normally the retail traders. In the afternoon you get market on closed orders. Uh, if you don't know what that is, uh, I'll be glad to send you a link. In fact, you can uh, send me a uh, Email at uh, path at tfnn.com, or you can give us a call at 877-927-6648, or you can post a message in the den, and we're hitting uh, new day lows, I suspect, here in the S&P as I speak. Uh, anyway, 
they uh, have kind of a uh, eh, kind of a McClellan oscillator thing uh, where they go back and look at it, but uh, they don't push this out very often. But quarterly, you can look at it if you pay thirty-five grand a year to have a Bloomberg terminal, which I ain't doing. Uh, but I did catch this out there, and it's uh, their Smart Money Flow Index. Basically, looks on whether or not uh, the big guys are selling or uh, buying at the close. And pretty much through September to the end of the year, even though the market was going up, uh, the, a lot of the funds were net sellers going on all the way to the end of the year, even as the market went up, which is pretty tough uh, to sell in a market going up. But that, they weren't selling a whole lot, but uh, they found a market. And like I often say, uh, you have to sell when you can, not when you have to. And I suspect that we saw a lot of distribution, uh, even with the market going up, which is not normal. Normally, the market's either going sideways or down in distribution. But uh, they decided to sell a little bit every day and were net sellers from September to the end of the year for the big fund managers and market on close orders. Uh, France's uh, 75% income tax, which brings us back to Europe, uh, has pretty much fallen by the way. Um, Famously, at the beginning of the year, Gerard Depardieu uh, vanished and went to uh, Russia to pay 6% interest for, uh, income tax from the, six, uh, from the 75% he was having. They lost uh, 12 of the top 15 billionaires that were in France. They absconded uh, off to other uh, countries. But uh, eh, kind of interesting to me that... Uh, uh, you can't tax your way to prosperity, and of course, uh, France's income tax was uh, had to be renewed by the end of the year and was not, and uh, is over uh, at the end of this month. So uh, for all those people that think they can tax their way to success uh, in the United States, we might look at France as an example. Uh, of course, uh, I was talking about last uh, Tuesday, started seeing these articles, and I started digging back into it only to find out that the guy that's probably going to be the de facto heir apparent in Greece uh, is not just kind of a little socialist or a Western, uh, Western democracy kind of socialist. This guy is the full Monty commie. And uh, he's not going to probably have anything to do. I think a lot of people have kind of whistled past the graveyard on this one. But this isn't like uh, this guy kind of thinks that maybe Greeks should, uh, uh, the Greeks should leave. But uh, he's pretty much uh, full dyed in the wool, uh, saying that uh, not only should the uh, Greeks get all their debts uh, pretty much wiped away, but they should get all the stimulus uh, that uh, everybody else is going to get too. And uh, by the way, mm, they haven't done one thing to comply with all the requirements that the uh, Euro people already have. Uh, the din of and a whisper from last week is turned over the weekend into a uh, calamitous roar. And uh, I don't know what else you can say about it, but I suspect uh, pretty much what we're seeing today is all about uh, the uh, first string on that sweater being pulled in Europe. We'll be back in a minute. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Check out the new look of Tiger TV. Now you can see all hosts, charts, and computer screens live in high definition. 
Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rose, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV. Now, crystal clear in high definition, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't seen the new look of Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You've always taken the long view when it comes to investing, but what if there's an opportunity right under your nose? What if you could be more responsive to market trends to seek to boost your portfolio performance right now while seeking to reduce your overall risk? At Direction Funds, we connect investors with alternative strategies that seek to maximize their returns. Smart investors deserve smart alternatives. Find yours at directionfunds.com. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risk charges, and expenses of Direction Funds carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Funds. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact the Direction Funds at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. Investing in index funds may be more volatile than investing in broadly diversified funds. Distributed by Rafferty Capital Markets, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Dave, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Um, well, anyway, we were talking about uh, uh, Europe's Lehman moment, and of course, everybody's uh, running around speaking and talking. I had this one little clip of uh, uh, the people in the EU, uh, uh, the Eurozone, uh, talking over the weekend. Are you suggesting we throw money at the problem? Precisely. And that's basically what they're going to do. At least that's what they're saying they're going to do. Of course, there's a lot of debate on whether or not they have enough money. Uh, when we go to the FCC net neutrality rules, probably the biggest thing in tech, and of course I am the tech guru here at TFNN, uh, the vote will be on February 26th, so you may want to write that down on your calendar. Uh, my guess is that they don't put the, together these kind of things and then back out of them at the last moment most of the time. So I'm saying there's probably an 80%, whatever this proposal is, uh, will be at, at least adopted by the FCC and then fought by the new Congress. Uh, the Congress, of course, uh, has seen a lot of money being thrown around uh, to uh, people that uh, didn't get elected uh, the last few uh, cycles. So there's probably a natural resistance to the FCC doing anything um, that at least uh, Hollywood and the music industry wants. Uh, and uh, we'll have to see how that works out. But certainly Comcast uh, and uh, Time Warner have thrown a lot of cash around. Of course, uh, Google has actually thrown even more money 
um, at uh, politicians lately. So uh, it's going to be a very interesting war here. But uh, we're getting down now to the last uh, few minutes. And uh, February 26th, watch out. I suspect uh, we're going to see the... Um, broad outline of this leak a little earlier and it's probably going to move a lot of stocks from stocks like google uh to the actual isps and if you read my uh, tech insider newsletter on friday uh looks like uh google's trying to get just a little bit more pregnant on getting in as an isp um google may be spending all the cash that they're sitting on in the near future to uh, build out a very high speed internet for the united states they may see um at&t and verizon and comcast uh as a very weak incumbents that could be blown out because of course um they are the most hated companies in america once again this year uh comcast and time warner and I think we played maybe six months or nine months ago a guy uh, who spent uh, four hours on the phone trying to cancel his account, and they still wouldn't let him at Comcast. Uh, there were a few more of those over Christmas uh, coming out. So they continue to act uh, fairly badly, uh, making a bad choices, uh, treating their customers uh, like rented mules. So that will be interesting. Uh, gasoline. Of course, um, we've got a war going on in the marketplace between the bulls and the bears. Of course, the, the uh, bulls are saying lower gas prices are great. Uh, why about uh, 12% of the S&P 500 is uh, stocks that revolve around energy. Uh, that correlates to about 30% the actual movement of the actual market. And, of course, uh, now that we dip below uh, $50 on crude out here, the question is uh, just how far down is down. I thought 55 would probably be the first thing we saw. Uh, in fact, uh, I filled up yesterday at the uh, Sam's Club for a buck 95, and uh, they had to have people in there with, uh, it looked like them bringing airplanes into the gate. I mean, uh, the place was crowded. I saw a low down here in Tampa on Gas Buddy at 191. On, uh, in a couple of places. And uh, I'm not exactly sure what the deal was, but I have a feeling a, a lot of these uh, jobbers were trying to get as much gas out that they had at higher prices out the door. Uh, they saw these uh, crude prices dropping one more time, and they don't want to hold any inventory. Made some special deals with some of these guys yesterday to blow out the gas uh, at several of these stations. But uh, you would say that it normally has to be very good for the rest of the market. I would say this caveat, and that is that this moves too fast. And uh, when you get markets that move too fast, it causes a lot of unanticipated uh, uh, problems, and uh, the question is, uh, where are those going to come from? Where are those in, uh, unintended consequences? Um, I think we're starting to see them in the market a little bit. Um, but uh, that's pretty much it. Anyway, when we come back, we're going to look at some of the worst stocks in the uh, Russell 2000 and see if any of these things even look close to bouncing. I don't think so. And uh, we've got uh, some of the stocks moving today uh, separate from the uh, general market. We're going to talk about those, too. Give me a call, 877-927-6648. And, of course, uh, email me at path at tfnn.com and or post a message in the den. of least resistance is david white's daily trading newsletter and if you're looking for active trading ideas then now is a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service david uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his path of least resistance newsletter using a combination of equity trades along with options david keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to david's daily newsletter the path of least resistance with no obligation to pay anything david has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning then visit the front page of tfnn and you'll find the path of least resistance under trading newsletters for all the details and to start your 30-day free trial today log on to tfnn.com now
Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And anyway, we're back again. You can give me a call at 877-927-6648 or email me at path at TFNN.com. Someone emailed me something I was talking about in the first segment, but of course I've already forgotten it. So you may need to uh, make sure and just flesh out your emails a little bit more because uh, my memory is not what it used to be, even five minutes ago. So anyway, uh, eh. da, 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 da. Uh, I don't even know what people, uh, my personal favorite, great cast. What movie? 1963, baby. Don't know. Anyway, uh, to, to, uh, oh, we're done with this. We wanted to go up and beyond and into the air. Junior Birdman. Going to look at a few of the stocks that are moving out here. APC. Of course, uh, no big surprise with crude hitting 50 that we're seeing major weakness in this. Of course, already volume, decent volume to go back and attack on Anadarko back to the $71 level, December 16th, 10 million shares. Uh, probably a pretty good chance we're going to hit that here in the next few days. And uh, that gives you about another 4 bucks down on that. BSX, uh, Boston Scientific, of course, a lot of stuff going on in uh, that sector. And uh, a nice 
pop there. I'm trying to remember what the deal was on BSX. Upgraded to overweight from neutral at uh, JP Morgan, but uh, trying to get it to buck the trend. But what it is going to give you today is a sell signal on BSX. The November 18th, 1376, 27 million shares. We got 12 million shares now. Uh, it's going to be light, and my guess is it pulls back into the trading range. Probably wouldn't short it here, but uh, probably weakness for the rest of the market. Of course, uh, CLR, which is a gas and uh, oil uh, company uh, exploration, um, is uh, taking it on the chin, Continental Resources. Um, looks like uh, this thing's setting up its next ABC down. Decent volume out here. Looks like it's going to go tech, uh, tack the December 16th low, $30.06 for 7.8 million shares. You already got 5 million today, so probably going to close in on that uh, 8 million shares by the end of the day, but you want to watch that. Uh, CVS Caremark, a uh, little jump down out here. I'm trying to think if there was anything else on this. Uh, to, to, uh, oh, it has a deal with uh, Gilead where they're going to uh, push their drugs. Eh, volume not as bad, though. But, uh, of course, when you look at Gilead, uh, much of a bigger move out on that deal with them with uh, CVS. Um, on a bad day, not a bad, uh, not a bad tick to have out here. Another one we've been talking about for a while that I thought looked weak was Ford. Of course, we've talked about this ad nauseum uh, coming out with the F1, for, uh, F-150 Ford truck that's going to cost three grand more as crude continues to plummet. Uh, probably a case of a very bad uh, timing for Ford. Why couldn't have they had this aluminum truck out three or four years ago? Uh, but uh, to pay a three thousand uh, dollar premium now for the F Ford 150 uh, at the uh, current prices over the weekend, it's not eight years, but now it's about eleven years. So it just goes from bad to worse uh, as crude prices drop uh, and gasoline prices drop as to whether or not uh, paying the extra money up front for a higher, uh, better gas mileage, or basically two two and a half miles per gallon. Uh, than the old Ford F-150 made out of steel uh, is worth anything. Uh, ISIS, the poorly named, at least poorly named now, I'm sure it had ISIS a long time before uh, that happened, uh, the ISIS people, entered into a global uh, collaboration with uh, Janssen Biotech to discover, that's a unit of uh, Johnson & Johnson, to discover and to develop antisense drugs to treat autoimmune diseases and uh, gastrointestinal tracts. I've got a few buddies that probably, they need. I'd need to send them to a doctor because I'm sure something's kind of wrong with their gastrointestinal tract, if you know what I mean. Of course, this is another one out here that's popped huge volume today, but uh, can't get through the um, February 24th high. Uh, at 62.66 and hold it. Uh, we'll have to see how this thing closes out the day. Maybe it'll hold it, maybe it doesn't. Uh, but it looks to me like uh, you've got a chance of a reversal out here and or a breakout. I wouldn't be shorting it, but uh, kind of interesting. Kite Farm, another one out here, entered into a strategic research collaboration with Amgen. Nice a pop on it. Um, the question is just how many and how long can these stories in the biotech keep propping these things up? Sanify, SNY, uh, down on uh, decent volume, but it's blown through the previous two lows. And so far, that volume is not uh, there. That was a, a downgrade uh, from uh, J.P. Morgan. Um, but... Uh, you know, may, if you were looking for a bright, shiny star in biotechs out here, uh, this is one of the few down here on light volume so far. And uh, three and a half million shares is not uh, too bad compared to that uh, October 29th low with 16 million shares uh, at 44.50. So what else do we have? Uh, WTI? Uh, W&T Offshore, of course, all these companies just look horrible on a day like this. But uh, not so bad volume on this one. So uh, keep an eye on that. Uh, Xylem, uh, of course, the big wastewater company uh, out here, and uh, they were downgraded. Looks like they're probably going to get close to that 1.2 million shares we saw on December uh, 17th. $35.69, we're below that. Uh, were we? We got within a penny of it. We may be close to it now. So you may want to keep an eye on that one uh, throughout the close. Uh, the ZMH, uh, Zimmer Holdings, 
This thing's trying to break out one of the few out here. I'm trying to remember the news on this guy. Upgraded to overweight from equal weight at Morgan Stanley. Um, decent volume up here at the top. And uh, if we try to uh, zoom in here a little bit, uh, it may be one of the few out here that are interesting to the bullish side. If this market actually did turn around and start uh, running, uh, you'd want to keep an eye on it. But uh, to me, this thing looks like it wants to go run. At least the S&Ps want to go at least... I think there's a better than 50-50 chance this thing tries to run to 2,000 before the end of the day. We'll have to see how things are going. Down 37 points on the S&P Cash, 2.55 billion shares. And uh, yeah, are we probably going to get a wicked bounce out of this market when it does bounce? The answer is probably yes. Uh, could we bounce back up? Uh, if this thing hits 2,000, could you bounce back up to 2035 in an instant and then basically continue the ABC down? I think the answer is yes. So it's going to take a steady hand out here. Now, I wanted to go to the stocks uh, that uh, 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 the worst in the Russell. Of course, a lot of people say, you know, the worst stocks from last year are the ones that are going to run this year. Alpha Natural Resources, like I said, a few of these stocks, not all that bad today in comparison alpha natural resources uh this thing you know under well, let's just look at the last uh, december 16th low with 11 million shares back here um and uh, we've got about half that uh, today so far so not that bad it does look like it will probably close lower than that which means it can continue going lower but uh, maybe one of the first stocks to go um some of these gold stocks are they really uh, got any juice in them well Aval uh, allied nevada uh, should be rolling today and is not this thing uh, doesn't look that bad, actually, if you wanted to get a gold stock. Looks like it's basing out. But uh, today, uh, if it should be running or it should be running and is not um, kind of a dog out here. Uh, A-R-O, Air Special, another one of these stocks uh, that has been the stinker for the last year. In fact, m these stocks are the ones that have done the absolute worst than last year. So there is a theme to these as I run through them today. Uh, but a lot of these stocks like Air Special is, uh, you know, that's not a bad pattern out here. Now, I don't know in this market that I'd be buying it. If the market turned up, I would be looking at this because that really looks like some kind of either heavy distribution or heavy accumulation. It's kind of hard to tell at the moment. Uh, if the market was with you, though, I uh, might be interested. Uh, BP is Z. Resources, uh, this one's a penny stock now at uh, around 35 cents, but, um, you know, was it 340 not that long ago? We talked about cons many times. This one looks like it could be making its ABC move. You'd like, uh, I'd like about 22 to short this thing, but, of course, it's got a massive 50% short interest rate, or did on this thing when it blew apart. Um, I wanted to short it back then, but uh, there were no shores, uh, shares to be had. So you kind of have to look at that, but kind of a Best Buy looking stock, uh, BBY. Let's take a quick look at that while I'm thinking about it. This may really look like it had made a top, at least a short-term top. I would like to see this thing push up one more time with even lighter volume. Um, Best Buy came in with about a million shares short from the November 28th uh, high to the December 23rd high out here. And uh, could just go sideways for a while. If you could get back up there with light volume, I uh, might be able to pull the trigger on this one. Uh, let's see what else do we have out here. Fuel. Uh, Rocket Fuel was one of the big IPOs of last year. Hit a 71.89 on uh, January 23rd of 2014. Uh, of course, this thing is down here at uh, fairly low lows. Um, but, um, you know, on some of these dogs, maybe they find a bottom December 9th. $13.75, 760,000 shares. Certainly looks like it's going to try to work its way back down there. But uh, well, volume kind of encouraging at least somewhat out here today. Uh, but uh, that may not hold. But these are some of the ones that we might want to catch on the counter balance or counter run out here. Um, and that's it. Why is IB, uh, IBB holding up so well? I think we went through that. That is uh, just all these things happening in the biotech sector. But uh, that news won't be there tomorrow, so we'll have to see. Uh, but uh, what else do we have at going out here? Got a lot of stocks that they're trying to hold up. My guess is, though, that these things are going to crack. 
pretty quick. I've got a few of these things that are hanging on like a loose tooth. All it would take is a little bit of string to pull on them, and that would be it. Another one of the giant dogs of the year in the IWM is uh, Goodrich Petroleum Corporation, GBP. This thing looks like it's, uh, well, was it, $30.52 uh, on what uh, June 2nd? Show you how bad these things have been smacked. Uh, it's got a low of 296 from the December 8th low out here, and this thing looks like it's working its way back in here, but the volume is starting to shrink. But you'd want that 296, I think, before you started looking on it. Another giant dog out here, Hercules Offshore. In fact, I think I need some flea powder because the ticks are getting thick on these things. Hero. Not much of a hero, more like a zero out here. Uh, of course, uh, hit 92 cents today. Was up at $5.05 on June 16th. Uh, oh, has the worm turned on these things. But uh, again, you know, you went from 8 million shares on December 1st to uh, a million shares on December 16th. And we got just about the same in here. So volume not really picking up on some of these. You want to keep an eye on them for any uh, counter trend rallies. Another giant dog out here with fleas and ticks, uh, Quicksilver Resources, KWK. This thing was at $3.67 and $3.53. Uh, yeah, April As long as uh, April 29th, not that long ago now, uh, looking for it, uh, fighting for uh, an existence out here. Um, again, you wanted to see some lighter volume. I think you got it. Out here today with just under 3 million shares. But uh, you know, most of the major lows here in the last uh, month or two, uh, October 28th, 30 cents at 7.2 million shares. Uh, December 16th, uh, 26 cents at uh, 9 million shares. So, you know, you came down here, you've had heavier volume a few days ago, but out here, uh, 3 million shares, not all that bad. Some of these penny stocks may move off the lows on short covering if we do get a uh, big move. And uh, like I said, I think uh, the more it looks, the longer that we hang out here without any kind of rally on the S&P cash in the last 30 minutes points to some kind of a giant uh, uh, move in the S&P where they just run all these shorts down to 2,000. So uh, I keep a close eye on this uh, the rest of the day. You know, when we're 2018, not a lot of volume, which makes me think that uh, they're probably – isn't a lot of pressure to buy, but uh, just a little bit more pressure to sell. And uh, they could uh, run the table if you want to talk about pool. Um, yeah, what else do we have out here? Well, let's take a look at Mill. Miller Energy, of course, all these things are energy stocks and horrible. Uh, okay. Um, Miller Energy Resources. I guess this is the Miller's tale that they in from Chaucer, but anyway, last low out here, ninety nine cents, two point five million sh uh, shares on December tenth. Uh, today we got uh, four hundred thousand shares, so um, needs to get down to ninety nine cents, but that wouldn't take a day or so. Of course, this thing was six dollars and sixty cents on July first, so these things are all stinking to high heaven in the uh, uh, Russell two thousand. Millennial Media, that thing's going sideways. What else do we have out here that was interesting? Let's take a look at Rex. Uh, Rex Energy Corporation. Um, uh, at least it's not a penny stock like the rest of these things have become. Talk about boom and bust in the train industry. Let's talk about boom and bust in the energy sector out here. And uh, what's that going to do to the train business? Anyway, um, you would have liked to have seen some higher volume in this thing out here, REXX. 450 on December 16th with 3.9 million shares today, 1.8 million shares. So you're going to have to see how these things close. We'll be back in a minute. How would you feel if you had a powerful decision-making tool that has the ability to find high-probability trading opportunities across multiple time frames in equities, currencies, and futures? Search no more. Take advantage of the best trade with the Taz Profile Scanner. Trade with confidence and clarity while using the software that thousands of institutional traders rely on to help them make the best and most accurate decisions. Scan over a 1,000 equities, currencies, and futures instruments for high-probability trading setups utilizing the Taz Architecture as 
seen on Bluebird terminals worldwide, the TAS Profile Scanner is a benchmark technical filtering system that thousands of traders rely on, and now you can too. For a limited time, for TFNN subscribers only, we've reduced the price to just $97. That's over 75% off. Subscribers will also gain access to the December 9th workshop with John Logan. There's no obligation to pay anything. Get your 30-day free trial to the TAS Profile Scanner today by signing up at TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to the Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before, for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And I see uh, Tom O'Brien is warming up in the bullpen for the next two hours. I uh, already talked to Andy Heck and uh, got a little taste of Basil and Steve and all the rest of the game, gang and Larry. So we're all back. And, of course, this is the last day for Tiger's Den Open House. If you want to check it out, go to the front page of TFNN. And uh, you can get in here to the Tiger's Den and talk with the rest of the guys out here. So uh, having fun. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it uh, doesn't look good here. In fact, uh, looks a little weak. Uh, 2018 on the S&P cash. And uh, I don't see anything out here that says this market's going to get saved before the end of the day. But uh, eh, we can take a look at it. Uh, anyway, we were looking at Rex when we left. Let's take a look at a few other ones out here uh, before we go. And of course, the, the thought is, of course, that there's always going to be uh, these stocks that have been beaten up and tax sold at the end of the year are going to rally. Um, you know, it, some of these don't look half bad. X1, uh, X-O-N-E, 
uh, they've got some news coming out this week, I think. Uh, a lot of uh, stuff coming out from a consumer electronics show. The October 8th low out here at 900,000 shares at 16 bucks. You know, we've gone below that. It bounced back. You had some energy up. Not enough, though. 750,000 shares on the 26th. Now it's pulling back down today, 373,000. So not so bad. So a lot of these things that did get tax sold are looking good. Um, but uh, eh, in a, interesting. Uh, anyway, the uh, uh, you know this is not that bad. So there are some things out here uh, that you may want to go uh, hunting for uh, if we do get a big. Uh, counter rally in this market but right now everything looking fairly weak and of course uh, one of the big movers in uh, this sector today also was uh, 3d systems they just continue to throw money around they bought yet another company out of europe and uh, why this thing is uh taking a pounding of course it needs to come out and test the $27.46 low from December 16th, 5.2 million shares, um, and, of course, 1.9 million shares. So maybe these 3D stocks do uh, base out here over the next uh, few months, and maybe we get an opportunity to buy them. But my guess is that uh, there haven't been a lot of uh, these stocks uh, that have been beaten up this bad in my list of uh, – redheaded stepchildren um, that have uh, been abused, uh, and uh, you know, I have to take a look at it, but uh, take a look at a few of those out here, but uh, some of the just worst stocks of last year are uh, yeah, they're looking like they're running out of juice out here. I suspect we're going to see a lot more like we've seen today, which is the uh, Dow and uh, other uh, uh, NASDAQ stocks start to uh, uh, see the weakness uh, that we've seen in some of these others out here. Uh, let's see, KEG, if we got time for one more. This is another one out here. Key Energy Services was $9.21 on July 3rd. Of course, uh, this thing uh, is uh, out at about a buck sixty-six. Uh, but another high volume low in some of these energy stocks. Uh, the $1 low on December 16th is what you'd have to look for, $8.40. So you got high volume out there, and even on a horrible day out here, these things are starting to look like maybe they're going to find at least some level of support. I think you need to uh, really dig through these energy stocks, though, if you're thinking about playing with them. And uh, you want to find these stocks that have a lot of cash on hand that don't need to go back to the well. Uh, there may be one or two diamonds in the rough out of all these horrible stocks in the IWM. Um, but uh, it's going to take some work, and you're going to have to have a nice bounce. And I just don't see that bounce happening yet. 2019 on the S&P Cash. Hang on for two hours. A double shot of Tom O'Brien. We'll see you tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell when you can, not when you have to. Cover when you can, not when you have to. We'll be back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids nature's preferred delivery system they've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight air and water life cannot exist without them that's right Paige. they ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive we, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning primal edge formulated and approved by nico and page of living a primal lifestyle buy it today for just 89 dollars. click on the primal edge banner on the front page of tfnn.com You're watching Tiger TV.